Do you know how to use a gas pipe threading machine? This right here is a portable gas pipe threading machine made by Rigid. This is what we use in the field to be able to cut to thread gas pipe. Today I'm gonna to thread some gas pipe, I'm gonna cut some gas pipe. First I'm gonna show you the key features of the machine. Then we're gonna look at a handheld, even more portable machine in the field. But first I'm gonna show you key features and what you need to have with you to be able to cut and thread gas pipe. So let's learn something about this machine. This right here is the cutter. This is what cuts the pipe. This right here is the die. You have to have a certain die for a certain size gas pipe. This right here is a half inch die. So this is what I'm gonna use for my half inch gas pipe. This right here is what you use to ream out the pipe. After you have cut the pipe, you're gonna use this to ream it. What we're gonna do is we are going to cut gas pipe and then we are going to use this die to thread it. So first thing I wanna tell you is, you of course need a tape measure. You need some gloves and you need a nice rag, okay, to wipe the oil off of the pipe. You also need a marker. Let's get some half inch gas pipe. But first, I'm gonna show you a couple more things. This right here is the bucket that collects the oil. And this right here is the pump. You're gonna wanna use this while you're threading. If you don't use this, not only could you tear up your die, but you could tear up your machine. So you wanna make sure that you're using oil. And this bucket right here collects the oil. And then I've got this little, a gun here that is used to pump the oil out and into the spot that you're wanting to thread. So I'm gonna leave this right here so I can catch that oil. I want you to come over here so you can look at this switch. Now this is forward and this is reverse. So when I wanna thread, I wanna push this this way forward. If I push in reverse and try to use the die to thread, it's not gonna work properly. This right here is what opens and closes and tightens that gas pipe into the threading machine. So we're gonna take this pipe, put it in here. We're gonna open this up. And then once you've got it set where you want it, you've made your measurement, you're gonna tighten it down. You're gonna tighten this down as well. Now, we're not making a measurement because I'm just showing you how to use this machine. So I'm not making a measurement. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut the gas pipe. And that's pretty easy. You just open this up here and you get it right on the mark that you've made and then you close it down. And you don't close it all the way down, okay? You just leave it just hand tight. And then once you start the machine, okay? Then you're gonna start tightening it down like this. All right, now you've got it cut, cut off there. Now you're gonna use this, you're gonna push this in, and this is gonna be used to ream the inside of the pipe out, okay? Now we're not gonna use that because I'm just showing you this video just as a purpose to teach you how to use this in the basics. All right, so, you take and open this up here. We're gonna slide the gas pipe in. We're gonna close it back down. And now we're gonna take and we're gonna use our die and we're gonna thread this gas pipe. So we got this handle here. We have closed this down and butted it up to the pipe. I want you to take a look at this real quick. You can see right here on this, okay? We're closing it down, see what's happening? And you gotta set it right here too as well. So I'm gonna show you that. See right here on this die, it shows me half inch and I've got my mark lined up so we're ready to use this die to thread this pipe okay so I'm gonna slide it up see how it goes over it right there we don't want that to happen so what we want to do is close this in bring it up all right now we are gonna go ahead and thread this gas pipe you ready here we go all right now we're gonna use this die all right butt it up right there Those threads. All right. And 
right when it gets to the edge, that's when you're going to shut it off. All right, now some people like to go ahead and open the die up. I like to go ahead and run it back. Wait till the machine stops. Anytime you put it in forward, never switch it over in reverse. You gotta make sure the machine stops before you choose another direction. Now, after you have got your pipe threaded, like that right there, see that pipe is threaded? Let me see if I can get a good clear view here. It's hard to get a good clear view, isn't it? All right, so take drip the rest of that oil down here. Strip that out, and then of course, this is where your rag comes in. Take your rag and wipe it off. And then there's one more thing I do to make sure that uh, my threads are good. And this is, I take a fitting. This is a bell reducer. I take and screw that bell reducer on the end. Just to make sure. You want it to go on there pretty easy. Two or three threads, and then after that, it's gonna be hard, you're gonna to have to use some type of wrench. This is how to use the portable stand-up rigid 300 machine. And we just threaded some half inch gas pipe. Now, you've got different dies for different sizes of gas pipe, whether you got half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, two inch. You got different size dies. Certain machines will only do up to certain sizes of gas pipe. So you gotta make sure that when you're purchasing one of these machines, you know exactly what size gas pipe that you're gonna be cutting and threading. Now, we're gonna go in the field. We're on the job right now installing the package unit. and We're gonna look at using that handheld. Uh, it's very, very portable. It just looks like, I'll show you real quick, actually, before we start using it. If you have any questions, drop those in the comments. I definitely wanna hear those. I definitely wanna help you. And this right here is the handheld. Show you this before we go into the field. Super portable, isn't that awesome? Made by Rigid. Link in the description for the handheld and then that portable there. And then you can see there's different dies. See that? There's a half inch die. We'll take a look at that. That's a half inch die. That's for cutting and thre uh, threading. I'm sorry, not cutting. Threading half inch gas pipe. This right here is inch and a quarter, so you can see the difference there. You want to put it back in the same spot where you got it. You want to keep it clean. Those are obvious things that you need to do. You need to take good care of your tools. All right, we're going to go in the field. Now, we're going to take a look at this and use it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing before we go any further with this video. Remember, I'm Tad, you're watching Tips for Technicians. Let's go. All right, before we go in the field, just wanna give you a couple tips because you're gonna see this in action, this handheld threading machine. Remember to always use oil, otherwise you'll eat the teeth on the die. This right here is the support arm. If you're using this machine by yourself, this support arm is very, very useful. So you're gonna see that in just a moment. All right, let's go to the field. We have the cutter. We've marked it with a tape measure and a marker. Below, we've got the bucket that catches the oil. And you just take and tighten it at the very top as you go around. I'm gonna hold this side here. And there you go, that's a clean cut right there. Now we're using the uh, electronic hand threader here. So we don't have the little uh, stand up at the shop. Of course, we leave that one at the shop so that we don't have to carry it back and forth. But this is the rigid handheld threader. You've got certain dies that you put in there for each size. That's one inch right there. We were just using that. This is a one inch piece of gas pipe here. And that's usually what you see on residential meters. We got one inch gas pipe and then you got the, the uh, drip leg here. 
usually you come out you do an L and then you go to wherever you're going to be running the gas line to we got a package unit we're installing here so we're gonna run some half-inch gas line to it so that's what we did with that little drip leg got a half-inch connection there it's threading that half inch gas pipe and it was in four now we're going to put it in reverse but while you're threading you want to use dark thread cutting oil and the reason you do that is because if you don't you're going to ruin this machine here you're going to basically strip out the gears Beautiful. What you want to do after you get it threaded, you want to take a fitting, like this little half inch shut off. Of course, you want to take and turn it upside down and get the oil out of it. But you want to take a, a shut off or some type of half inch fitting. You want to make sure that your threads are good. See that? Threads are good. Oh, yeah. And then we've got some pipe dope here or pipe thread sealant. All right, so we're threading the other side. And you can see how that cutting oil is just dripping it through the die there. It's a half inch die. This is half inch gas pipe. Easy peasy. And this is the stand. We've got one that's not handheld, but it stays at the shop. It's really heavy, so we don't carry it around. But we do carry around the stand with the vise. We put it in reverse, drop it down there in the bucket. We keep the bucket underneath, and it's actually got a nozzle here. And as you put this, fill this up with oil, you can actually just use this and pump. Pull the trigger and uh, pump the oil up through the bucket into this little handle here in this little pump and then you can use that if you want you're gonna get some pipe thread sealant put it on the fitting make sure you have a tape measure make sure you have a marker a nice place to do this kind of work we're right here in the yard. Got a 90. Got our extension cord. Let's take a look here. Rigid. Beautiful. See, there's our one inch die, our three quarter inch die. Inch and a half, that's inch and three eighths, inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth. Hooking up the old York. One inch gas piping. This right here is the diaphragm. This is how you can take the meter loose. One inch gas pipe here. So we're basically gonna be running that gas pipe from here, over, and then connecting to this union. Gotta have a union. There's the gas valve. If you're an HVAC technician and you don't know how to use a gas pipe threading cutting machine, then you need to know how because it's only going to give you more opportunity. The reason I did this video is to show you how to use one so that you could use this skill to be able to install a gas furnace, to be able to replace a hanging heater, to be able to install a little heater, maybe to install a generator. It just gives you more skills and that pays you more money. And that's what it's about in this industry. Definitely learn as much as you can. Knowledge is the greatest gift. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you learned something. If you did like the video, hit that like button. If you have a question, put that in the comments. I always answer all the questions and I really appreciate those. Really appreciate you watching this video. My viewers, my subscribers, my members, thank you so much. You're awesome. You don't know how much you mean to me. I really appreciate all those comments that you leave me, especially the ones that tell me, hey, you made a difference. 
Because of you, I'm able to do something, and that's the key to life, honestly, is to share. Because if you share advice, if you share knowledge, if you share anything, you can agree with me. You feel good. And the person that you shared with, they feel good about it as well. I want you to feel good. I want you to be healthy. I want you to be happy. And I want you to know more. I want you to be prepared so that you have a better career, so that you have a better chance. So that's why I want to do this video on how to use a gas pipe threading or pipe threading machine. So thanks for watching. I'm Tad. You've been watching Tips for Technicians, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.